Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Welcome. You're looking good. You're looking good today. Yeah. Um, there are some things in this world that just don't work. Women with hairy armpits, that does not work, okay? Just doesn't work. Men that dye their hair. Okay. But one thing that does work, apparently, and I want to thank Catherine for getting in touch via the My Virgin Kitchen website and sending me this email. One thing that does work, apparently, is making a pizza, your own pizza from scratch, but the dough is gone. And the base, my friend, is replaced, no dough, is replaced by grinding up, grinding, um, uh, cauliflower. I know you call it coriander then. Grinding up a cauliflower. So one of my most favourite things in the whole wide world is a barbecue pizza. I'm kind of in a chilled out mood. In fact, I've been doing some painting and decorating. I've got my dirty trousers on. I'm chilled out. I'm chilled out, yeah? So I'm going to make myself happy. I'm going to make a cauliflower barbecue pizza with chicken and bacon and peppers on top. <gasps> and you're going to like it. I'm going to like it too. Let's get on and make it. All the ingredients you need to make this. Change the toppings as you like. Hit pause on the video now. I'm writing them all down. And uh, we'll just get on and make it. See if it works. Cheers. Okay, I've got a bit of a mess here. I just chucked my ingredients down, so let's just get rid of it all right now. Okay, so we've got rid of everything apart from our cauliflower head. Torturing like that with a little stumpy extra, and that comes to 200 grams, which should be enough for one pizza, my friend. So what we're gonna do is grab our grater and actually grate cauliflower. This is gonna be kind of weird, okay? Kind of like the hairy armpits on the women thing, or the dyed hair on the men thing. Okay, so just grab uh, your cauliflower and just work it like that. So you want to get like little bits of polystyrene or even like popcorn sort of size pieces like this. See that? It's all flaky. This is weird. Let's just go with it. Let's just enjoy it. That is the love and desire and passion you get from cooking, my friends. You should try it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that massive mountain of cauliflower. I just want to stick my head in it like that. But I'm not going to do that because that's bad. So what I will do is move my grater like that. Get myself a microwave proof bowl. You could actually steam it instead if you wanted to, but we're going to microwave it because we're going to be lazy, and that's what the instructions told me to do on the email. So, uh, yes, what we're going to do, we're going to get this cauliflower into the bowl. Let's do it. Et voila, that is what it's like. It's kind of a little moist, my friends. I'm liking the moistness. Okay, anyhow, let me take you off the tripod. We're, what we're going to do is plonk this now in our microwave. I'd say what you could probably do instead is steam it, but we'll plonk it in there. Apparently, it's got to go in there for just under nine minutes, so we'll go for, we'll go for eight minutes thirty, first of all. What it's going to do is sort of break it down a little bit, not too much to the point where, imagine if you were doing it with broccoli instead. In fact, I might have to try that. It would get too watery and be all mushy. You don't want it like that, but it's going to help to sort of give it a little bit of blah, 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 like that. There's no word for that, you just need to go blah, blah, blah. And we add egg and cheese and herbs and flavorings to it to make our base. Sorry, I'm a little bit excited about this. Sorry. Okay, so while you've got your eight minutes to kill, what you could do is start to prep your toppings. It depends how flash you're gonna take it, okay? Mine are pretty simplistic. And I've got just under six minutes left just to chill out. So I'm just sat here thinking to myself about other things we could use rather than the cauliflower. Maybe you could try parsnip, you know? That'd be kind of cool. If this works, Catherine, I'm gonna try that, I think. And uh, maybe fruit as well. Yeah, so I'm just gonna sit here and just contemplate that for a bit, and I'll see you in a bit when we carry on making the dough. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, my microwave is just down there, and it's about 55 seconds left to go, and I can tell you, boom! The smell of cauliflower in here is incredible. It's like I've got a cauliflower on the end of my nose. I don't want that. It's not gonna be a good look, but um, I'm intrigued to see what this is gonna come out like. I'm gonna get it out right now. The cauliflower. Okay, my friends, I present to you da, 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 microwaved cauliflower. So that was in there for just over the eight minutes there. The smell of the cauliflower is gone and it's turned into the smell of a tractor. I'm loving that. So what I've got here is one egg. That has actually stood for about one minute as well, by the way, just because that's pure laziness of getting out of the microwave and just getting it over there. I'm so gonna pour one egg in there. Yolk and a white, boom, in that goes. I've got 100 grams of uh, mozzarella chives like that, all shredded. Pre-bought, I didn't bother shredding it myself like that, you know, being a bit lazy, I know. And here, I hope you'll agree that this looks kind of cool, I've got a traffic light effect there, I've got some onion and garlic granules, some mixed herbs, and some paprika in that shot glass. Can you see that there? All four different layers, you like that? So let's just pour that all in like this, like this. So what we're gonna do, grab ourselves a wooden spoon and then just mix it all through. Oh my goodness. 
Alrighty my friends, after five minutes of constant stirring, it looks a little bit like this, like a funky putty. It is holding itself together, and I'll tell you why, that is because of the role of the egg as the peacemaker. Basically, the egg has gone in that bowl, and it's saying to all the other ingredients, hey guys, come on, let's have a group hug, and that's what it's doing. Everyone else is like, yeah, come on, let's all hug the egg. So it's all in there, it's all down to the egg. Egg, 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 egg. So yeah, get yourself a baking tray or sheet. You know, if you've got a rectangular baking tray and you want to have a rectangular pizza, just use that instead. But I'm going to use this and shape it into a funky pizza-shaped circle, and then we bake it. You want to bake it? I'll bake it. Yeah. Okay, so you might be able to see I've very lightly greased um, my tray there with a little bit of butter. So I'm just going to pour this clump out like that. You want to see what it looks like? There you go. Want to kiss it? Yeah. Okay, so this just slam that down like that. We'll get our hands, nice clean hands please, and uh, just start the shart to, sh just start the shart, um, I don't know what that word means, and just start to press it down, get it all nice and even into a nice circle of it. You know, you can have it nice and big. We're not going for the old stuffed crust on this, or you could try that if you want, just nice and flat and even. It smells good, it smells good. There we go then, I've done my best to make that into a circular shape. As you can see, it's not the most perfect shirk, shirkle, shirkle and sharted. Yeah, sorry, what we're gonna do is take this out right now, off the tray, like this, not off the tray, into our oven, like this, ready? Let's pick this up, in it goes, like that, slam it shut, and I'll see you in around about eight to ten minutes. I can't remember if I just said then the oven temperatures, so I've just put them all uh, down here. It might take a little longer than that, just wait until it's all nice and golden brown, and then we're going to put the toppings on. So that's what I'm waiting for now, how exciting. That's it, that's it. Okay, it's been just under 10 minutes. I took a sneaky peek in the oven. The cheese is all bubbling away. It's starting to get golden brown. Once it hits that golden brown point all along, what we're gonna do is take it out the oven, our base, let it cool down a teeny weeny bit, start to work on our toppings. I've got myself a Pizza Hut slash Domino's slash your pizza supplier of choice style set up here. I've got a little station of peppers, chicken, bacon, sweet corn, and my barbecue sauce. I love barbecue sauce. So uh, obviously you can use other barbecue sauce. You can have the classic tomato layer. Or if you're going for a duck pizza, you can have that sort of house and plum sauce on there. So good, so uh, nearly getting it out. I just wanted to show you my toppings, I'm excited. <sighs> yeah. I'm quite a simple guy. I like the easy things in life, like family, happiness, and food. This thing smells incredible. I could eat that on its own already. I just wanna go, just eat it already. I'm letting it cool down. Look at the color on that, it's all nice and golden brown. Obviously, because I got a little bit of spank of paprika in there, it's tinging it a little bit more, so that was, you know, I had to be pretty uh, cautious with that, thank you. Uh, so what we're gonna do is spread our barbecue sauce on there and then just get these toppings on there. So let's do it, let's do it right now. Yeah, right now. Now I'd have barbecue sauce on pretty much anything if I could, so this is like heaven for me right now. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. I might need to put an adult cert on this video. So that's around about enough, maybe a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half, oh yeah. So what we're gonna do is get like some sort of spreading device like this, a back of a spoon would do. Just smear it on there, as much or as little sauce as you want. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's a pizza, you can do whatever you want to it. I'm just gonna add all my toppings on, I don't wanna let you see this, that's boring for you. So let's just do it, let's click the fingers and you can see what I've done. There we go, that is my effort. So I've got the bacon, the sweet corn, the chicken on there. Oh my goodness. Let's get that on there. A little bit of cheese, sprinkle it on. So all we're basically doing now is warming that through to cook the bacon, brown it all, melt that cheese on top. So that crust is ready right now. Like I said before, you could eat it. So we're gonna put it back in our oven, cook it all through, and uh, wow, that's a good angle. I'll see you in a minute, yeah? Let's get it in the oven, yeah. Yeah, take one look at that. You wanna be on that, don't you, yeah. Add some herbs on there if you want, maybe some salt and pepper. I'm shoving it back in that oven there, and I can't wait. I can't wait to eat it. It's in the oven. Yeah, so that's in the oven, and uh, you realize how much I like this barbecue sauce? Uh, just open my cupboard and uh, yeah, check this out. Another full one. So uh, if you're watching, HP, I really like your barbecue sauce. Okay, so then folks, that was another 10 minutes. My face might be a little red, because I was like, sat in the oven just watching it going, and it's come out it's smelling amazing. Check that out. I've got my little pizza cutter trimmed a bit off there, so I'm just literally gonna pick up I'll wedge of it now. It's kind of like weighty actually, I'm, I'm digging it. It's a little still hot, it's okay. I should have let it cool down more, but for your viewing pleasure, I'm just gonna shove it in my mouth, ready? That is amazing. Wow, sorry, I had to speed a bit there. I was sort of away with the fairies then. The pizza tastes just like pizza. You can't even tell about the crust. Maybe that's sort of like the part of it. You got me eating it and I'm thinking, I don't really care about crust anymore. It's all about the topping. Give this one a go. So thank you, Catherine, 
for the recipe suggestion. If I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on, and I'll see you again next time. I'm going to eat the rest of that right now. Goodbye.